I wonder if you can just share, you know, the experience with us of diving at elevation and what that feels like when you're in such a remote and intriguing environment. And also, you know, you've already climbed a mountain. Like you're super high in elevation in a remote environment that's already testing you enough. And now you're diving down underwater in this environment. Um, just to share with our audience what that experience was like for you. It's a unique experience. Uh, first, we trained for four or five months at the NASA Ames swimming pool. I was joking and said to people, you know, you had to put a, a telephone line for me at the bottom of the pool because this is where I spend most of my time. So we get to the summit of the lake. And then the second day we did a first dive. And, and then you have to imagine, for me, that was the most incredible thing because I am a free diver, you know, by nature. And then all of a sudden, I have this dry suit on me. I have a lead belt that's about 40% of my weight just because the water is so cold that I have clothes underneath. I feel like a whale, which is the opposite of free diving, as you know, and I'm, I'm on shore. And then the person who was helping me puts the mask on me. And that's the first time in my life that I really want to run away and not do what I'm going to do because it feels extremely claustrophobic. And in the background, we have our uh, uh, master diver who start the countdown and you hear like, okay, you know, checklist, go, go, go. And then the countdown. And then you say, oh my God, I am on a rocket or am I going to dive? It was so similar. And then we went in the water. I felt still uncomfortable. I could feel the lead for a little while. And then guess what? Within 10 minutes of doing this, I spotted this white stuff on a rock that was totally out of place, or I felt was, and I forgot everything about the lead, about the dry suit, about the, you know, being claustrophobic. And I started to, to explore and we started sampling and we started doing the, all the things we had rehearsed. They came as second nature. And the next day was a lot uh, more comfortable for me because we we're taking turn, we we're a, a team of three. That second day I was the videographer. So I had a lot of time on my own in that, like to enjoy really, you know, the environment and, and literally became one with the water. It was an incredible moment where you are becoming, in fact, the thing that you are trying to understand. 